Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, look at this picture right now and realize it's not my intention to bully or harass people online. I'm just a super gay, blunt twink that keeps it real, that is honest, like a black hole. So subscribe if you're interested in my personality and if you are interested in the topics that I talk about. So I'm going to be talking about Bretman Rock for the first time on my YouTube channel. And I've mentioned him before here and there, but I've never actually made like a whole video about him. So this is my first whole video about him. So if you guys don't know who Bretman Rock is, he's been a internet celebrity for the past like 10 years, it seems. He's an OG. I think he's like 27, 28 now around there, but he's been famous since he was like 17. And the reason why he was so famous at the very beginning was because he's basically what I am. At, at the age of 17 like he was he was known to be like this hawaiian gay twink with this super super sassy attitude who's like only five feet five like he's literally me like me and bretman rock if you want to compare me with a gay guy please please compare me with bretman rock he is the best comparison okay we both have that sass and even though i am older than bretman i am a millennial i still am a twink and i still keep it real and sassy and i just can't help it but literally uh just like rylan adams Except, you know, Ronald Adams is quite boring because when I, okay, this is the reason why I get so pissed off at Rylan Adams and Shane Dawson when I make videos is because Rylan Adams has the potential. He's literally the same height as me and Brett Maroc. We're like a trio. We have this twink thing going on. And Rylan Adams is also a millennial. Like I said, he's like around my age and he's older than Brett Maroc as well. But he needs to stop being so boring and he needs to watch Bretman Rock videos and get some inspiration and act like fucking Bretman Rock. If Rylan Adams was more gay, he always says that, oh, he's pretty gay, but no, you're not, like, super gay as you think, fucking Rylan Adams, because look at Bretman Rock, look at me, we're both twinks as well, but we have sass, we have fucking power, bitch, we're like black holes. You, on the other hand, Rylan Adams, you're just so boring, you need to go out and vlog more, please. Ugh. So anyways, it just, he pisses me off, Ronald Adams, I'm not gonna lie, because he has so much potential and he's wasting it, you know, only gay twinks can understand what I'm talking about, it's real. So, Bretman Rock, uh, he has a lot of, of, like, boyfriends in the past, like, he's known to date, like, straight, like, DL guys, and like I said, bitch, I know what the fuck I'm talking about, because in my fucking real life, the only type of attention I get from guys are from like straight DL like jocks and hunks and shit like that that are like six feet two um, because they like like fanboys. They like twinks that are super, super girly and little like five feet five. That's little. I'm five feet five, bitch. And it's like the same height as Bretman Rock and Rylan Adams. And also when Rylan Adams goes out, you'll see he gets a lot of attention from like, like the DL guys. And so Bretman Rock has had many boyfriends in the past with like a lot of DL guys that he doesn't show on camera and that's why like I'm making this video is because like he finally 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 has a boyfriend who's like the straight DL guy and he's showing his face on camera and he's not scared because Bretman Rock had a boyfriend before who was like this fucking Hawaiian like straight DL guy that was like a fan of his and then they started dating for like a couple like a year or two and then they ended up breaking up we don't know why but this guy and the guy that I just mentioned like he didn't show his face at all throughout their whole time together on Bretman Rock's YouTube channel he didn't want to be known but this guy he's not scared to show his face and he's like this straight DL hunk guy and I think he's like maybe two years younger than Bretman he looks younger but he's pretty fucking attractive i'm not gonna lie so when i found out that they were dating publicly i was so fucking happy because like i love seeing like a twink and a jock like be in a relationship openly i think it's the hottest fucking thing in the world and also there's this youtuber their name is like leo and something I, i'll put like their their uh youtube profile here but it's basically like these two asian couple these two asian guys that are a couple but one of the asian guys is like this straight macho like super he looks like he's like 19 like macho like tall guy who works out buff as fuck and his partner is like this super gay flamboyant twink i think he's like two years older than him but he's like super tiny he's like five feet five not even he's like five feet four he's, oh it's lucas and kibo uh, Kibo is the twink and Lucas is the jock straight guy and they're dating and they live with each other and they have a cat and their videos are so fucking hot because they're always making out and they go out together in public and they get a lot of fucking attention it's just it reminds me of like Bretman Rock and this guy see I'm telling you like twinks 
just naturally get attention from straight DL guys. Straight DL guys cannot control themselves, especially with me as well, because when I go out, there's straight DL guys with, like, their girlfriends or wives even, and when their girlfriend or wife is not looking, they'll look at me, and they'll, like, flirt with me. I, I've seen it so many times, and I just feel so bad because, like, I see that the wife is around or the girlfriend is around, and I don't want to be a fucking homewrecker, so I just ignore him. But I, even though I secretly think he's hot, I would never hook up with, like, a married guy, you know, or, like, a, a guy who has a girlfriend. I'm not a fucking homewrecker, I promise. But if they ever break up, then yes, I will hook up with them because he's single now. You have every single right to. But literally, um, yeah, twinks just get a lot of attention. And it's just really entertaining. I was watching this video where Benjamin Rock just went to the supermarket and he bought, like, a lot of fruits. And he was, like, opening these fruits and he was sharing the fruits with his boyfriend. And it was so fucking cute and adorable. And the fruit looks so fucking good. I think he was eating something called mangosteen. Oh, my fucking God. So I went grocery shopping uh, the other day. And I bought like there was mangoes on sale and they were only they were really cheap I'm not gonna say how much they were but they were on sale and they're like medium-sized mangoes and they're like the sweet ones and I think I bought like nine of them and so I want to eat one so bad because like I've been craving mangoes for a long time and um I I'm like no I'm not gonna eat it like raw I'm gonna make it into like a smoothie so what i did was i haven't made it yet they're in my fridge but um like i put like a tray of ice in my freezer so it's probably frozen by now so by the end of this video i'm gonna be like making the mango smoothie and i might put a picture actually i don't fucking know i'm too i might be too lazy for that we'll see but i'm gonna be fucking making that soon so all you need to make like a mango smoothie is crushed ice and a lot of mango fresh slices and then you just like crush that in like a blender like i have a ninja it's like a professional kitchen blender and i'll use that to make the smoothie so it's going to be like crushed smooth ice with like a lot of mango piece or just blended up mango and it's going to be so fucking good I think that's all you need to make a mango smoothie, just crushed ice and fresh mangoes. And I have nine, so I'm going to be making that during this, this hot as fuck summer. And it's just going to be so good because I haven't had mango smoothies in like the longest time. So I'm excited to eat that. And, you know, I was like, not not going to lie, like I had barely any groceries in my apartment for the past week because I was I have like really bad anxiety so like sometimes I honestly get really scared to go to the grocery store but luckily I had some like basic stuff in my apartment I had like pasta uh, I had spaghetti sauce um, I had a lot of bread um, just random like simple stuff like that I, I had rice um, I had like soup so like I was just eating the basic stuff but then I finally got my shit together and went to the grocery store, bought so many fucking good foods. I bought so many cheese. I bought so many fucking mangoes. Like I said, nine. They're all on sale and they're like medium size. And they're the sweet, like super sweet, like creamy mangoes. And um, well, not creamy, like soft mangoes. Because you know, like there's a really, really hard ones that are sweet. But then there's like the soft ones that are sweet. That's what I bought, the soft ones that are sweet. That have like that orange color, not the yellow color. Because the yellow mangoes are like hard to bite. They're still really fucking good. It's just, I don't know why, but I prefer like the um, the taste of the soft ones instead. Because it's, it's better for smoothies. And basically, that's it. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I bought a bunch of hot dogs. You guys are going to laugh at me, but... There's, like, this deal that the store that I go, so there's, like, 25 hot dogs. Yes, 25 hot dogs in one package. And I bought, like, four packages. So I bought 100 hot dogs. That's why I'm saying don't laugh at me. I literally bought 100 hot dogs. Each pack contains 25 hot dogs. It's, like, a family size pack. And it was on sale, so I bought, like, four packs. And therefore, I bought 100 hot dogs. <laughs> And I bought, like, so many, like, marble cheese, like, the block cheese, because, like, I'm making a lot of yummy meals out of that. And uh, what else did I buy? I, I, a bunch of other stuff. I forgot. But, yeah, I'm stocked right now, so, like, I'm going to be enjoying my food for how long, however long 
It lasts me for because for the past week I've been just eating basic like spaghetti with just uh, spaghetti sauce, not even like any cheese or meatballs because I had no cheese or meat in my fucking apartment for the past week. All I had was like soup and basic stuff like spaghetti sauce. Uh, I had pickles. Uh, I had some vegetables. So I didn't eat meat for like a week. And it, that's why I bought like 100 hot dogs because I needed meat and it was on sale. So don't judge me <laughs> now that I got my 100 fucking hot dogs. And I'm just so fucking happy because like I have a lot of like stuff. I have bread so I can make like hot dogs and like with ketchup and I have mustard and uh, like it's just I'm going to be eating well. I'm just really fucking happy. I already made this oh and I bought peas a bunch of peas on sale like frozen peas and frozen vegetables I bought that on sale so I actually made like this uh, melted cheese um wrapped in like a tortilla that I made from flour and I put like hot dogs in it and I put like <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh but I put like some peas in it and I put cheese and it was just so fucking good and I put like this type of like barbecue sauce because again I have like a lot of sauces so there was this barbecue sauce that um I bought like a lot like a month ago like I it was on sale so I bought two cases of barbecue sauce so like 20 literal bottles of barbecue sauce in my apartment so again like I always have food it's just like sometimes I don't have like meat um so or, or like cheese or, or like the important stuff that you need for like a good meal so now that i'm stocked i've been eating really really well and i'm just gonna enjoy making more youtube videos and that's this whole situation with this video so sorry that i'm rambling a lot i'm just super fucking happy and i think that my f followers love hearing me talk about my personal life so i love you guys so fucking much and again i'll be making more videos um because a lot of fucking crazy shit has been happening so i love you guys so much peace out and don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in my content that i make peace out